Vault onboarding. So you want to know how to complete vault onboarding, all three steps. So yeah, stay tuned to see how to complete all three steps. So we are going to load up our town. This mission um, is where you're going to find uh, a vault chest that you can start with step one. So step one for vault onboarding Recent is to find a, a vault chest. So this is the best reach. mission I've found uh, and easiest to do. And you get quite destroy. a lot of good loot. So no, if you really monitor, wanted to, you could do this on the highest difficulty. With. I've only done it on challenge level two, um, but you can do it on high one if you want. So we're going to load in the mission. Stand by. Here we are, we're landing, we're about to land on our town. So basically, um, I'll just show you the gameplay of where I go. Um, but you can track these with the radar that will appear when you get close to. Um, but basically what you want to do is stick to the left of this town and scoop around. Um, so as you'll see here, I'll go immediate left as you land in this mission. Uh, you want to stick to the sort of traffic lights on the road. And you just want to follow the town round and... Um, yeah, it'll basically, you'll come to a cave and it'll pick up the signal and that's all you pretty much got to do. But just enjoy um, a nice bit of me jumping across the street. I haven't showed much of this um, game in gameplay mode, so I hope you enjoy it. Um, I have, I have the done the complete story and heart. if you are wondering what to do next, then this is a perfect opportunity to complete the vaults um, and stuff like that. So yeah, you want to take a right and turn down here and keep heading down this street and um, yeah, and then we'll come to a cave. So at the end of the street, you will see this dingy cave. Um, you basically just want to loop in there and um, very shortly you'll see uh, at the top left of the screen. So I was just having a quick look around here. You'll see in the top left of the screen in a minute um, a radar pop up and then basically you just want to follow that so coming through this cave i'm just picking up some um, supplies basically just because i can't ignore them um, i did make a video on how to get quite Enemy a lot of fragments quite no quick so if you do want fragments station. quick be sure to go check that out and um, any minute now this radar will pop up on your screen um, and you just basically got to follow it so here we go i'm 90 meters away from this um chest apparently or switch so you just want to come into this cave um, and basically you'll see a little a button at the bottom of the cave and um, so here we go and that's basically it so there's nothing hard there's, there's no enemies um, to you. this is why you can do it on the hardest difficulty so here we go it's just down here I've just missed it um, just behind these rocks right here this button will activate a staircase take you down to a secret location and there is a nice chest in there so if you want some good loot do it on high difficulty and you'll get some even better loot so you can hear some rumbling and that and i'll just run around here and there'll be a staircase just down here and then um you just go and help yourself to the chest and that is part one job done jackpot let's see what that vault is hiding we located a few more of those vaults just in time too the resistance could really so now on to step two. Basically, you need to complete a vault mission. These will appear on your sort of map. So mine is basically in the um, snow terrain. And um, I'm just going to land here and then show you where this sort of vault is in this snow terrain. Sorry, did I say sand before? I meant snow. Um, show you the path to the vault because um, this is the one that I had load up. But you'll have a vault mission that will load up and you basically just got to find a vault and go in there I so the i'm going to land and then speed the this up for you guys so you can Your follow my footsteps hopefully don't speed up too quick for you to not um, be able to see where i'm going but yes i'll see you at the vault you've just seen the speed up version of the game i've kind of stuck left um to the mountains um 
I worked my way around to this big large tower and um, your radar will basically start picking up as you get close to the, um, the big tower. So this radar will bring you down to this cave and you can see around here, I was a bit confused, but you can see it does highlight it for you because this is basically the mission and what it wants you to do. So it will help you as much as it can. Um, I did find this quite easy. I kind of stuck to the left of the map, worked my way around. And that is it, you are going into the vault. This is very different to the vault you've seen in step one. There is actually a mission you've got to do. So we're gonna go down this elevator and I'll see you at the bottom. A vault nearby. So we've taken a nice little elevator ride so down to the begin. bottom. And basically this is a mission. So this isn't like the other chest that we found. There's a full tunnel down here and you have to enter a sequence of numbers um, to open actual, an actual like vault door, physical door. Um, which these can be found um, on most of the maps. There are variable ones. Like I say, I'm doing this on the snow map. Um, but here we go. This is the vault. So it's like a big dungeon style, um, like normal games, so like Destiny and that. There's like dungeons and that. This is a vault. So this is it. This nice big green door. So let's open it up. And basically, mobs will start to spawn. So there's three tiers. You've got to find each number. It highlights it when it's a mission. But if you find these vaults and it's not a mission, you could, you've got to find these numbers. So this mission actually shows you so there's three and two that I've got to activate. And once these are activated, mobs will start spawning like hell um, to basically defend the doors. But you can just keep running and then you've got to work your way back to that central point right there because it's not going to load until you're standing in the area, as I'll quickly show you. And then there's three waves of this basically um, and different numbers you've got to type in each time. You've basically just got to survive in this sort of pod. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave you a little bit of gameplay and then skip to the last part of the vault. So I'm here in all the mayhem, and I've typed it in my last um, few digits, so it's 4152 for me. I'm almost at the end of this loading sequence, but it does get hard. You can do this on hard difficulty to get better loot, because there are chests inside this vault, but as you can see here, I'm on difficulty 2, or 1 I think, and this is just manic. But you can just keep running around like this, team members do go down, you might go down yourself. You've just got to keep running around and wait for that bar to load, and it, once it's done, it will kill off all the enemies. And you can see in the background there all the loot that you can pick up from this. So that's it. This will then turn the last gear, the vault will open, and it will send off like an EMP, kill off all the enemies like that. There you go, there's the EMP, and that's it. You can pick up all the loot and go inside this vault and pick up the loot. So it's a very good way of getting new loot for your character. So we go, there's some green here, some gold, some blues. Um, nice gear for my um, Miss Marvel, which is, there we go, we've got a gold, what did we get? We've got a gold um, chest piece or something, I think, when it loads. Yeah, chest piece, which is awesome. And then we can go in here and take all the loot and activate this vault. And that is basically it for the end of step two. So within the vault, you've collect, collected all your fragments, all your chests and that, and you basically just want to go click the button at the back. And um, I'm going to make step three quite simple because it is basically the same, but you'll get given, uh, so you go, it says the forest vault, which is elite. Um, basically, it's just doing what we've just done, but on an elite scale. So that is basically it, guys. If you found this vault onboarding um, useful, so there's my elite mission to do. If you found this useful, please don't forget to drop a like and comment. And I'll see you on the next one. Just want to say thank you for watching. Please go check out some more videos. And don't forget to subscribe, support the channel. And stay tuned.